Hey esteem viewers, this is Salman Safi welcoming you to Safi Next. In this very short video, I would discuss the terminology of the time independent Schrodinger wave equation. That is, it's psi of x equals e times psi of x. This equation has some special properties. The operator h acting on the wave function psi of x gives back the wave function multiplied with a constant which I am writing in this case equal to e. Such an equation is called eigenvalue equation. The function psi of x is called eigenfunction of the operator h and e is called its eigenvalue. In general, many eigenfunctions and eigenvalues may correspond to a given h. The set of all eigenvalue is then called eigenvalue spectrum of h. Since h is the Hamiltonian, the eigenvalues E are called energy eigenvalues as well, because these are the possible energies of the system. When this is the case, the different eigenvalues in the corresponding eigenfunctions are differentiated from each other by adding a subscript to E and to the wave function psi of x. That is, we write the eigenvalues as En and the wave function is psi n of x. In this picture, the solution of time independent Schrodinger wave equation reduces to evaluating the eigenvalue and eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian H. Now, in the solution of Schrodinger wave equation, one may get a number of linearly independent eigenfunctions sharing a single eigenvalue. Such an energy eigenvalue is called degenerate eigenvalues. If there are n such linearly independent eigenfunctions sharing a single eigenvalue, the eigenvalue is then called n-fold degenerate. For example, consider the wave function describing the dynamics of a particle of mass m in a three-dimensional box of volume v the wave function for such a particle is given by psi sub nx ny and nz equal square root a divided by v sine of n sub x pi times x divided by lx and a similar factors are applied for the y and z components. So we get the so we have a wave function of three different sine function multiplied with each other normalized to square root a divided by v. In this equation, Lx, Ly, and Lz are the lengths of the box along the three Cartesian axes. And similarly, n sub x, n sub y, and n sub z are quantum numbers with the three axes. The energy of the particle in such a box is given by E sub nx ny nz equals h bar divided by atm multiplied with nx squared divided by lx plus ny squared divided by lx plus nz squared divided by lx. Now for a cube now, if the three-dimensional box is a cube, in such cases, the lengths along the three axes are equal and we can replace Lx equal to Ly equal to Lz and all the three equals to L. And similarly, if we substitute n sub x equals n sub y equals n sub z equal 1, this corresponds to the lowest energy state. Then the energy in substituting these values into the equation for energy, we can write it as E sub 1 1 1 equals 3 h bar divided by 8 ml. And the corresponding wave function for this set of quantum numbers can be expressed as psi sub 1 1 1 equals that relation where we have substituted in nx, ny, and nz equal to 1. Now, in this case, a single value of energy that is E sub 1 1 1 corresponds 
to a single wave function which is psi 1 1 1. Therefore, there is no degeneracy in this energy. On the other hand, one can easily show by substituting values that E2 E sub 2 1 1 equals E sub 1 2 1 equals E sub 1 1 2 and the whole of them equals to 6h six six bar divided by 8ml. In this case, for every set of values, we have a different wave function. For example, the wave function psi 2 1 1 can be written as square root 8 divided by v multiplied with sine of 2 pi x divided by l multiplied with sine of pi y divided by l multiplied by sine pi z divided by l. And for the other set of values that is for e equals that is for e sub 1 to 1 we can write the wave function psi 1 to 1 into this way where we multiply the 2 with only the the y part of the function that is we write sine 2 pi y divided by l and similarly for the third wave function that is psi 1 1 2 we multiply 2 with the z part of the sine function so in this case for three different set of values of the three quantum numbers we get a single value of energy whereas for every set of values of the quantum numbers we have a different wave function thus in this case the energy corresponding to these three set of quantum numbers is in fact threefold degenerate now it can easily be shown that the linear combination of the degenerate eigenfunction is also an eigenfunction corresponding to the same eigenvalue.